It's like, we have stuff that beats what the other person's doing, but simultaneously we don't. I feel like this is necessary as well, which is sucks. I mean, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe you do that. For reasons that I hope maybe I'll showcase. But yeah, um, this should be interesting. Also, it depends how well we play the Colossal, but because Colossal's in their name, I think they're gonna be pretty good. Just a hunch. Yeah, there we go. I think this is how we do it. Oh, really? I'm surprised. Alright, let's see what they do. Because in theory, Karanog kills. This has to be a protect, right? Because otherwise it just gets nuked. Really? Wow, I'm really surprised. I guess maybe they're attacking the land first? Not sure on that one. Seems like an old play. Like, wouldn't this normally just get KO'd? Like, I don't really understand this. Normally I'd just KO them outright. I thought they had to switch to Rilla. Yeah, this seems really weird to me. I would've normally just traded really really well there, but now I probably am um, a disadvantage. I don't really understand the play, honestly. Because I normally just KO them in return, right? I felt like they had to switch in Rilla Boom there. Because normally, I just I just would have one-shot that, and that would have been a terrible trade. Yeah, I don't really understand this guy. They've, they've kind of lost me on that play. That seemed like a really weird thing to do. They might win off it, though. That's the scary thing. They might actually win off doing that. That's the thing with Colossal, you know, it's just, um, it's way too threatening on preview. I'm pretty sure a double up here is completely safe. I kind of have to hope they misplayed, like, it's, because this team's so hyper-offensive, um, the game I feel like is pretty much over, because I can't deal with Colossal anymore. Like, I, I did not think they would do that, but okay. I think the game's literally over. It's annoying because game two, they can lead the same and then do the switch. So it's literally just coin flipping. This is kind of like what I find unfun about Dynamax. Like this in a nutshell. This is literally what I what I find unfun about the game. Because like that play, like against most, like I, I shouldn't say most, I, I shouldn't really generalize. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna generalize. I guess I made the wrong read. But yeah, like, because I got the, t uh, the turn one wrong, it, this game's unrecoverable now. I, I can't do anything. And, like, depending on what they had in the back. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, 
I'm not going to be able to find out what they have in the back. I'm probably better off forfeiting here and not showing any information. But it's annoying, because now for like the next two games, I have to make a hard read, like, every single time. And I hate it. I, I already don't like making 50-50s. I have no idea on this opponent's skill level. Like, by that game one. Oh, this is going to be difficult. It's going to be an uphill battle. Because the thing is, now they can just they, they can just switch now. Like they have so many different uh, plays that they can do. Ah, oh, damn. How it sucks to have you restricted just to eating half by Colossal, so I can't lead it. Like the rest of the team is pretty easy to crack. I just um I have to do 50-50s all the time on this freaking Colossal, and I, I don't have any idea how the opponent's gonna play it. So all right, back here again. Let's um. They can they can change the lead as well, arguably. We just have to play this well. And we have to make the calls right every time. This definitely sucks because like I feel like I made the calls like correctly every other time, but I just messed that up. I thought they'd switch in Rillaboom there. But I guess they don't really lose too much for getting the call wrong. Because they still get the vocal effort, right? I guess that's their logic. Judging by the speed that they put that team in, they're probably doing the same thing again. Alright. So they did the same. That's not surprising. The question is how do we want to do this? How do we want to proceed? I got an idea. Let's try this. Let's see what happens. Switch to Rilla Protect. Oh, Zashian, okay. Do they have Rilla Boom in the back there? I'm not actually sure anymore. That's an interesting switch. Oh, they double switch, okay, yeah. So this is what I expected them to do the first game, but we kind of half called it because I think they would have thought that I would have gone and thought that they would have done uh, the uh, play where they just do the same thing again, but I adapted. So I actually uh, profit from this turn pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. That's what I mean. I've just got to keep a cool head, like, in moments like these. Very easy to just think that you're on the back foot, but in reality, it's not too bad. Oh, I need to look at their um, Zashin set, actually. Um, okay, it's triple attack. I believe they have to switch out Rillaboom at this point. Their Rillaboom's really fast, by the way. That was max speed. Interesting. That was a nice play. I respect that. That was a really good switch back. Okay, that's showing me that this guy is pretty good. Like, that play was really good. Honestly. What play? Did you target? You should target Landris here, right? Every time. Yeah, nice. That kind of sucks. 
That's likely adamant as well, by the amount of damage coming out. Yeah, that would kind of sucks. I think we did want Landorus healthy, but now Landorus is kind of dead weight. I might just chuck it. Yeah, it's not like I have much for switching anyway, is it? Oh, that's colossal. Oh my god, we actually made the freaking read. Let's go. Oh, sorry, my alarm. <laughs> but yeah, that is actually fantastic. So, because of this, we actually get rid of the Dynamax. Because we read that really well. See what I mean? I just kept a cool head. This should knock out. That's awesome. Let's go. So now Reshiram's just free to do what it wants now. They have to Dynamax... Um... I think they have to Dynamax Urshifu at this point in time. There's no other Pokemon it really makes sense to Dynamax. But I can go big on Reshiram now, and I can just click buttons, I think. That's really good, though. That feels really good. Like, just have to keep calm. We made really good reads there. There's Ashian. I know it doesn't have sub, so that helps a lot. There's a chance they Dynamax Urshi here. This is relatively guaranteed, though. There's a chance that they Dynamax it, so I shouldn't just go for um, Fake Out. I think Fake Out would be a mistake. Yeah. I definitely have to go for Grassy here to get the most damage onto the uh, Urshi. And because we're Worm Winded as well, we're doing a lot of chip to the... Um, I mean, we're doing we're putting Intimidate onto the Zashian too, which is awesome. I guess if they Max Guard here, that's a good player. Let's see if they read that hard into it. I think they'll just be doing this to avoid fake out there. But yeah, big Reshiram should be in the team at this point. I just need to get rid of the Colossal. No max card. Sweet. That's exactly what we wanted. And that should knock out, actually. Max Knuckle. I respect it, but I negated it with Wormwen, so... I respect the attempt, though. That was definitely the best way back into the game. I double into Zashian or something. Or fake out Urshfu going to Zashian, but I knew they had the Dynamax, so... That's why I double. And now I have a free max flare because they don't have substitute on the Zashim. So I should be able to clean up. But holy moly, that was some reads that I had to do there. This player's really good. The only way I managed to read them is because I got into their headspace a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think I want to cycle. I'll chuck our set blast so I can get the fake out back in. They do have protect on Rillaboom, so it's not guaranteed to target into that.
Let's see how much this does. Ha, <laughs> that's still really good damage. Oh, the crit, that's why. I still think we win, guaranteed. Especially since I cycled Red Bow into the back. I'm pretty sure there's no way they can win. Just, I know that Russia Room beats er um, Russia, Russia Room. Uh, Russia Room beats everything but the uh, Colossal in the team. I guess they can bring Moltres, but it means that they can't bring their entire core, is the issue. I'm pretty sure if they protect at this point with the chip, Fake Out plus Flare actually carries through Protect. Because they're not AV. So yeah, fun fact there. Let's just hopefully KO through Protect. I am curious if I can. Yeah, okay. I don't think they wanted me to find out. They check and respect. Yeah, like I couldn't tell from that game one because I guess they were going right. This opponent is gonna expect me to switch back. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just uh, do my thing. So yeah, I really respect them actually. That was that was nice. I, I respect their play a lot. It's gonna be a hard game for you. We'll try our best. I think. The main thing is whether they bring Moltres or not. That's going to be a decider. Alright. I'm ready. They're ready. We're all ready. <laughs> Let's do this. So yeah, my opponent will be adaptable. For, like, they've shown, they've evidenced that. So, I've got to play each turn not like they're, like, autoing. I've got to actually think here. Okay, that's kind of more passively than I expected. But it makes sense versus Rilla. I know the max speed Rilla Boom as well. That's the horrible thing here. Yeah. Let's... Let's try this on the off chance that I profit from it. Yeah, I kind of expected them to max here, which is why I didn't want to fake up Moltres. They might fake out into Rilla here, to be fair. Getting Yawn on this thing's really good, though. They probably haven't bought Colossal. We went for fake out. It should be into Rilla. Oh wow, I'm really surprised by that. Mainly because I could have technically maxed on that. Huh, that was a good read. I'm kind of surprised they went for fake out on Blastoise though. 
I get, like, because mainly, like, if they thought I was in a bad position, I thought they would have assumed I would have switched. We can still come back from this, but it's uncomfortable. Especially because now, like, I can't Dynamax Landorus because they can get Urshfu in on the max airstream. So I have to go into Reshiram. I have Yawn them, though, I think. Oh, no, I haven't, no, because they put me to sleep. Oh, the uh, Fake Me Out. There's not really many switch-ins here. I guess they don't really lose anything by sacking the Rela here, right? So it probably makes sense for them to just attack. Definitely was bad to get rid of Rillaboom immediately. They might switch here. No, they're not. They don't have U-turns, so they're committing to this. Maybe they're protecting. Protect would be a nice play here. If they protected, the best play was Yawning. Hard read to make, though. Okay, they're not protecting. That's good. That means I should get a knockout here. Next Darkness is a nice play. I did that pretty well, though, honestly. Yeah, that's the best I could have done, really. And also this reduces the power of uh, Urshi as well. So Landorus is like switchinable. It's not the best, but it is switchinable. I do have an extra turn of Dynamax on my side, but they also have a Zashin in the back and probably an Urshifu too. If they double into Blastoise, uh, they knock it out for sure, right? There's no way it'll work around. That means my best play is probably Max Quake again. I think keeping Blastoise alive is best. Because... Because Urshfu will just get to knock me out anyway, right? The next turn. Because I can't knock it out, it's not possible. But they have a double, a guaranteed double up here anyway. And it will always knock Blastoise out. So either way I should switch. And then Max Quake to try and return my defense back to normal. This is the best I can do, I think. Yeah. It's not great. I think this is literally the best play I can make, bro. And then I max Quake, so I take less damage from Moltres. And then they're gonna start trying to um, stab drop me. Oh wow, they actually went for close combat. That's actually kind of good for me. It means I could potentially switch out later if I want to. Yeah, Shimmer didn't have any priority right now. That would've helped. And now they just keep clicking Snarl on me repeatedly. My absolute best play here is Max Quaking. Sacrifice Lander is here. Because I kind of have to. And I don't want any chip on the Blastoise. Always go for Max Quake here, so I get a defense boost. That's rough.
Maybe I did want to switch Landers back, honestly. But... I wasn't necessarily sure if they were going to Snarl or not. I guess the Snarl always made sense, though. Oh, and also they can flinch me. That's also an out. Which... Oh, wait, no, they, they don't have um, Fire Earth, actually, I just realised. So that's not necessarily a thing they can do. That said, Blastoise does wall the Zashian, which is nice. I'm pretty sure Blue Flag KOs here, so they have to protect. Which means I can always do this. There's no real counterplay to this. Okay, they're doubling up. But that will activate Citrus. Oh, never mind, it's just out of range. Oh, crap. I thought that would proc Citrus. Oh, that sucks. I think that's game. Ah, oh, damn. The Intimidate actually screwed me. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Uh, I had to save Landorus for Intimidate. How many times have, um... Turn on left. Okay, so let's try protecting here. We still technically have an out. Technically. But it's not a great one. I think I always get beaten by the Moltres, the problem here. Yeah, I guess I should have preserved Landorus in the back. If I switch back to Blastoise, um, I could have cycled Intimidates and it would have been impossible to knock me out. Yeah, protect well, you always protect her. Makes sense. I can't beat Moltres anyway. I, I think I have to, like, crit or something crazy. But they'll always knock me out. I'm curious how much this does, though, so I'll stick it out. If they play rough me and put me in range, then I guess we'll see how much it does. Oh, they woke up anyway. Yeah. I think crit was my out anyway at this point, right? Nice. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah, I definitely should have um, preserved Landy. Um, I don't think there was any real uh, drawbacks of doing that. I think I was more concerned about like accidentally taking Chip, but it was more important that I cycled the Intimidate. I do still have a lot of time though, because those games were actually relatively quick. But sadly, dropping down in the bracket is kind of bad for me right now. Um, specifically because... Um, I could end up getting knocked out, um, or like facing uh, matchups that are like more difficult to deal with. Because I mainly want to like fight the session stuff. The only reason I struggled against this is because Colossal made my preview really bad.